Ever feel the need for something to hold your gunpla parts while you modify them? Well, here's a perfect tool for it. Welcome back to Scythe Model Work. Today, I will bring you an unboxing and review of the Display Directional Tabletop Vice. This is one of the underrated tools out there. In this review, I will show you how to use it and let you know whether you need it or not. Opening the plastic wrap, we get a box in a comfortable matte finish with introductions on one side. On the other side, it talks about the features and there is a unique ID code to identify the authenticity of this product. There is a minor text error on the bottom, not a big deal, but I was not expecting this from this page. Opening the box, you will see a thank you note with some pictorial instructions of the tool. Under the thank you note cover, here is what is in the box. There is a package of rubber tubes and another package of metal rods and anti-slip pads. Here is a tabletop vise. The vise is made of aluminum alloy, stainless steel, and brass. To get this tool ready for use, you need to put on the anti-slip pads first. Then, wrap the plastic tubes around the metal rods. The best way to do this is to insert the rods, put the rubber sleeves on, and cut them. The red knob on the side controls the distance of the clamps. The one on the bottom locks the angle of the vise. This vise can be used for different purposes. You can use it for sanding, modifying and detailing parts, putting on stickers and decals, or hand painting details. Other than model kits, you can also use the vise for miniatures. The tabletop vise grabs whatever you clamp onto it sturdily and will not drop it in any way. The rubber sleeve protects the pieces from being damaged by the metal rod. If you want to see this tool in action, check out my vlog series. I'm currently working on the HGUC Nightingale. Next week, I will be updating the progress with tabletop vice in action. Overall, this is a handy tool. I like the packaging from this page as well as the vice itself. Before this tabletop vice, I always found myself using one hand to hold the model when I need both hands for a task. This tool is the perfect solution. The finish on this tool is excellent. Instead of a super polished surface, they made a fine sandblasted finish which is very smooth for the hands. The overall look of the tool is also very stylish. I like the looks and the functionality of this tool. My only nitpick about this tool is the pegs on this vise. With the precise fitting on every other part of this vise, I thought the metal rods would go into the peg without any resistance. To my surprise, not only do some of the pegs Pegs have dust left in there from sanding, they do not go into the pegs with the same depth. It does not affect the functionality of the tool. However, as a tool that retails for around 74 Canadian dollars, this is disappointing. I'm not sure if this is just for the vice I received or a problem for everyone. If you have already purchased this product, let me know if it happened to you as well. Also, as I mentioned before, the text error on the bottom of the box is a tiny mistake, but it is really something this page should pay more attention to because it makes their product feel less authentic. Since I have started the tutorial series, I will be giving out some recommendations for who this tool is for. If you're a beginner, forget about this tool. I don't think 74 Canadian dollars is worth it for this tool if you just started Gunpla. With this money, there are a lot of other things in priority. You can check my guide for beginner tools here. However, if you are a lot more experienced in this hobby, this is one of the tools that might feel useless at first, but it's super handy. Honestly speaking, as you build more, you will feel the need for it. And wherever that feeling hits you, just grab this tool. A little off the topic, if you're not a builder at all, I think this tool is still versatile for soldering or crafting in general. So if you have the need, and if the cost is good for you, you should also get it. This is my first hobby tabletop vise, so I do not know how they compare to other brands out there. But for me, this is more than enough. So how do you guys feel about this tabletop vise? Do you guys use different brands? Let me know in the comments. That is all from me. Special thanks to Torchlight Games and Hobbies for providing this tool for review. Torchlight Games and Hobbies is a hobby shop located in Burlington, and they have the best shipping rate in Canada. Other than Gunpla, tools, and various PLA models, they also have tabletop games and trading cards. Use my code SCYTH5 for 5% off Gunpla, tools, and paints. Link in description. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe to my channel for some support. If you have any suggestions or any kit you want to see, let me know in the comments. You can follow my Instagram and Twitter for almost daily updates. If you want to show some extra care, my Patreon is up and running. I will be sharing some Patreon exclusive content over there. Thank you for watching. Scythe here, I will see you next time.